The Battle of Fei was a military conflict between the Qin and Zhao states of China in 233 BCE during the Warring States period. The campaign was part of Qin's campaigns to unify China under its rule. It resulted in a decisive victory for the Zhao forces, led by General Li Mu, against the Qin invaders. Chapter 1 Opening Moves In 234 BCE, the Qin forces defeated the Zhao armies at Pingyang. In the following year, the Qin army led by Huan Yi embarked from Shangdang and attacked the Zhao army from the rear. The Zhao army sustained over 100,000 casualties and its commander, Hu Zi, was killed in action. Huan Ji's force crossed Mount Taehang and conquered the Zhao territories of Chile and Yian, both in the southeast of present-day Shijiazhuang, Hebei province. Chapter 2 – The Battle King Qian of Zhao recalled Li Mu, a general famous for his success in defending Zhao's northern border from the Xiongnu, and appointed Li as the commander-in-chief of the Zhao armies to resist the Qin invaders. Li Mu's army from the northern border met the Zhao forces from Handan at Yian, and engaged the Qin army there. Li Mu felt that the Qin army's morale was high after its earlier victories, so it would be unwise for Zhao to attack Qin then. He ordered his troops to strengthen their fortifications and defenses while waiting for an opportunity to launch an counter-offensive. Huan Yi felt that a swift conclusion to the battle was necessary since his troops were growing weary after so many earlier battles, so he led his force to attack Fei, intending to lure the Zhao army there to defend their position. Li Mu's deputy, Zhao Kong, suggested to Li to send a force to rescue Fei, but Li refused? As the bulk of the Qin army had left to attack Fei, the Qin camp was poorly defended so Li Mu seized the opportunity to order his troops to launch an offensive on the Qin camp. The Zhao forces scored a major victory in the ensuing battle and captured several prisoners of war and supplies. As Li Mu predicted that Huan Yi would retreat from Fei to save the camp, he ordered his men to lay an ambush on Huan Yi's retreat route. Huan Yi's retreating troops fell into the ambush. Qin sustained over 100,000 casualties in the battle, and its army was almost completely wiped out. Huan Yi succeeded in breaking out of the encirclement.